Hi! <laughs> Hello ladies, gents and apprentices of the dark arts. I get asked a lot about this, so let's make a quick and easy tutorial. You need, the first thing you need to mod things is mod Lanky 2, so go to the description, or you can also type in your, your search engine of choice, mod Lanky 2, hit enter, click the first link, download the latest version, download that sucker, if you go into download, you can save that file. There it is in your download folder. Control C to copy it. And now you place it in your Splunky 2 folder, which is extremely easy to find. You just need to right click on the game itself, manage, browse local files. It will take you straight to the folder in which Splunky 2 is located. There's the executable Control V to paste. There's mod Lunky 2. Before we do anything, you want to take Splunky2.exe and savegame.sav and make a back above them just in case you mess something up uh, that you can always restore the game files but you know it's always good to make a backup never alter the games the the files that the game comes with anyway now that motlanky 2exe is right there this folder will not be there in your install if this is a clean install of your splunky 2 just double click that sucker and we're going to start messing with it. Windows will tell you because Windows 10 loves to babysit you that this program is a horrendous virus that will kill you but you just click on that more info and you tell it to run anyway because you're a rebel and you don't care about whatever Bill Gates wants you to do. And here's the Mod Lunky 2 interface. It used to be this weird browser based contraption that was a confusing thing to use but now it's all native extremely easy to make use of. Here's where you pack mods into the game. You're not at the stage yet. You want to extract the assets Click on that Splunky 2 executable and extract. Uh, I already did this, so I'll need to do it again, but the, uh, the console will start working. It will extract all the files into the folder and your end result will be this mods folder right here. And this contains every file that runs Splunky 2 and you can modify it any way you see fit. For my purposes, I am only going to be altering cosmetics. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. This is even a level editor you have extracted all kinds of stuff there's the data over here you go to the textures and this is what all the things that are contained within the game so you see theoretically you could go through every single texture in the game alter it to your liking just make it big but fat dildos in every single texture and then repack it into the game and you'll just have a, a game full of dildos if you so desire such is the beauty of modding. Of course, you don't ever want to alter original uh, files inside the folder, although this is all extracted. It's not like it's inside the executable, but it's good practice to always be making a copy of this. And you put in the different folder that you use as your working folder, such as this Plunky 2 modding folder. It's already a, a copy of the Rafi file right there. And then you can alter this one. And it's, it's just a lot much better practice to have a separate folder then that's where you work at and then you copy the version in this folder into whatever you want to modify so let's say that you want to change for example our beloved friend margaret well here is her modified file that i have already worked on how do you get this into the game let's do it you go back to this plunky 2 folder you go into that mods folder and here's the overrides folder and this is what the modlunky 2 process is going to take to repack into the into the executable here's my custom strings file and you go into data you know it mirrors the folder structure of the actual file and here are my modified files so here we have margo already ready to be packed we have a custom a custom strings file let's go back to mudlunky and introduce it into the game you go to pack assets you select that overrides folder and that's what's going to be packed into the game. And as easy as saying, oh, pack it up. And there goes the console doing all the things that it needs to do. It will take a little while. It won't take long at all. Let's uh, make a test to see if it is inside the game. Let's go into the adventure mode. Character select. Oh, there's our modified Margaret. She's so pretty with her skull bandana and her red eye and her badass chain whip with a knife attached to it because she's just badass like that. All right, we got that going on. So what if you don't want to do the work because it's either too much work or you lack the skill or the desire to make these modifications yourself? You don't want to draw nothing. You just want to install a mod that you find on the internet. Oh, never mind that. Oh, that's a work in progress. Don't, don't, don't mind that. Well, let's go find them. You just 
type Spelunky.fyi on your folder, a very handy recopulation, compilation repository of Spelunky 2 resources. There are the mods. There you go. Browse mods, and there's a giant list of nonsense that you can install in your game. Each probably will have a different, uh, a slightly different set of instructions, but the gist of it is going to mostly be the same. Let's, uh, let's pick one at random, I don't know, maybe Rough Lunky. Let's turn every character into the most hate-worthy creature of them all. Let's go and download this mod by... Who did this? Who, did, who, was, who was the abomination that did this? Woeful! You are guilty of the most horrible sins against humanity. Download it and we're going to install it. All right, so here's what you see when you click on that zip file. This is a pretty old file, so it's not up to the modern uh, Modlunky 2 standards. You go into those modes, mods overrides. You take that Modlunky, I mean that rough Lunky, copy that or extract it, and you go into your game folder, back to the game folder, mods, packs. I already copied it in there. Let me just do the, uh, the mockery of the thing of doing it. Just copy in there. There's Rough Lunky. So now it comes with all kinds of character uh, files, all, all kinds of stuff. You go into the, once again, the Mother Lunky 2. And there it is. The packs Rough Lunky. Check that bastard and pack it into the game. Here, let me bring you the console again that I just did this, but I'm showing you again. It's going to take quite a while. It's quite a few files. But when it's done, our game will be full of Rafis. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the nightmare! 